In this video, you will learn how to use Packet Capture to examine HTTP and HTTPS packets on your network. Packet Capture, also called Packet Sniffing or Packet Analysis, can be used to monitor network traffic in greater depth, or to look for specific information or patterns in traffic logs. Packet Capture creates duplicate packets to avoid modifying the original packet and to mask monitoring from the receiver of the packet. To use Packet Capture, your FortiGate must have disk logging capabilities and have disk logging enabled. First, go to Network Packet Capture. If the Packet Capture page doesn't appear in your interface, you can visit this URL to access the menu. Select Create New to build a new filter. The simplest filter just captures all packets that pass through an interface. So for this example, select an interface, enter the number of packets to save, and select OK. Now create another filter, selecting an interface and packet count. This time, select Enable Filters to be more specific about which packets to capture. Enter 80 and 443 as ports to capture HTTP and HTTPS packets. Enter an IP range, and save the filter. So this filter will capture only HTTP and HTTPS packets received by that interface that have a source or destination within the IP range. Now create a third filter, setting the interface and packet count as before. Enable filters, and set the protocol to 132 to capture only Stream Control Transmission Protocol or SCTP packets, which are used by telephone carrier networks. Lastly, create a fourth filter, setting the internet-facing interface and packet count. Set the host filter to 8.8.8.8 and the port to 53 to capture DNS packets that query the Google DNS server. Save the filter. Keep in mind that running packet capture filters may temporarily affect your FortiGate's performance. Choose a filter and select the play icon. You can watch the filter capture packets until it reaches the specified number and the filter stops. You can run, stop, and restart multiple filters at any time. After a filter runs, select it and choose edit. Select the download icon to download the capture in PCAP format. You can open the file with a PCAP viewer like Wireshark, which will allow you to examine the packets more closely. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe, and you can find a written version of this recipe on cookbook.fortinet.com.